Joseph B2, welcome to the coffee pot. My name is Tisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Guys, I've got an interesting video for you today. This video is captioned. In fact, I've got two videos must watch. So the first one's captioned 1964 footage of wife and husband having a serious conversation. And there's two questions that I have for you guys. The first one is have things really changed? Because I'm going to sort of play the same type of video and the same type of conversation had um, between a married couple, one from the 60s and one today from a woman's perspective. Have things changed? Question number one. And what can you learn? Question number two, accompanied with my commentary, of course, and some comments and reactions from the people. No more wasting time. Let's get it. I really don't feel that you take the time even to tell me anything that, that you're doing during the day to make me feel at all close to you. I can't just see you on, on Saturday night and Sunday and um, really feel well, a part saying, of your life. Well, I just feel that you've got better things to worry about here at home than to worry about the problems that I encounter during the day. Why, uh, why add more to your day and problems? Granted, you may want to be a, a part of these problems, but there isn't anything that you can do. Excuse me, it's something that, that I have to work out. Things that you're not really, you shouldn't be concerned about. You're concerned enough about the home and about having things perfect. If I don't know anything about you from 6 o'clock in the morning until 12.30 at 1 o'clock at night when you come home, what, uh, what can I, you know, what can I say? How can I feel close to you? How can I know what your problems are? This is all part. The things that I do, the little things that I'm not necessarily Johnny does, the things that are interesting, you might be, you know, you might want to know about and so forth. But this is all I want things to hear. Like the, the dishwasher right here, whatever, little problems that I have, repairmen coming or people coming to the door and these little things. This is really petty conversation too, but I have nothing else to tell you. And I, I feel that through these things, you feel close to me. Mm -hmm. So, if you guys aren't following, I'm going to pause the video because, you know, it's kind of difficult to catch what she's saying. Um, she's complaining, right? I'm sure you're not surprised by that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. I'm, I'm going to start off fair at the beginning of this video. So she's complaining to her husband about them not spending enough time and them not knowing each other very well. And she has some pretty understandable complaints that she listed one being that she doesn't know much about him now we don't know what type of job this guy works could be a business owner entrepreneur could hold some type of important job is on camera after all that requires him to work those long hard hours <sighs> to women they will never really understand a man's desire to delve into his purpose so much and find meaning and his purpose instead as you guys are going to see in the comment section they're jumping to conclusions of what might be going on during those times. Granted, I'll be honest, that's a big gap to not see somebody. But again, we don't know what the guy does for work. She says she brings up conversations about dishwashers breaking and little things happening in the house just to talk to him. She's complaining that he works too hard and that they don't spend time together, right? Let's keep listening. Can you feel close to what is going on here at home? And I take the time to tell you these things. And that's why whenever you do have a chance, I mean, there are, there are times when I think you're you're too dedicated and you do too much, especially community work. I never object that much to business obligations and so forth. But there are times when I think you should realize that there are other people in the community besides you and that you have a certain responsibility to me, even if not to Johnny and so forth. She's complaining about him doing too much community work. She's saying you work too hard. And I want you here home with me. And I think at times it is a little bit selfish. It is. And then she calls him selfish. She should stop. We can read it ourselves. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to help. What do you mean selfish, selfish? selfish. Well, you should be home even if you don't do a thing. There are nights and there are times when it gets to be just week after week after week of being away. And there are times when you really should just forget some community activity, I feel, and just come home. And even if you don't do a thing, just to be... All right, guys. So you heard the woman herself there complaining about how she doesn't spend enough time with her husband. Keep in mind, this was about five years before no-fault divorce was legalized. So she's complaining, you work too hard and it's selfish that you work so hard. And she didn't like the fact that he was gone all those hours, etc. Now, of course, this video went viral and people started reacting to it. Let's check out some of these comments and see what the people have to say. First comment here says 6.30 a.m. to 1 a.m dot 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 double life 
And why are we jumping to him having a double life? Why can't he just work hard, right, for his family? We don't know how much their bills are and what they have to um, keep up with or his aspirations and the type of person he is. A woman responded back to that comment and said, that's what I was thinking. And clearly she's wondering too. And so there are two people here, probably both women, who are thinking this guy has a double life. Another comment here from another woman says, wow, she's expressing herself so well and clearly, feels so lonely, and you can see her words bouncing off of him. Do you guys think her words were bouncing off? Or do you think the guy was frustrated because he was thinking, look at how hard I work? And if she could, she would probably leave this man because she thinks you work too hard and don't spend enough time with me. Maybe she's ungrateful. Maybe um, he's thinking about all the luxuries that he affords her and she's still complaining. Here's another woman that says, at first I was like, he really cares about her and doesn't want to add to her stress. And then she goes on to say, then mentioned coming home at 1 a.m. Red flags start waving. Now let's keep it real here. 1 a.m. in the morning is crazy. I will give her that for sure. But again, we don't know what he does for work. What do you guys think? At 1 a.m. is a crazy time to come back if you're leaving at 6 um, a.m. in the morning. So we have a woman here who responded back to that chicken says, yeah, I heard 1 a.m. and was like, wait, what? What community activity is he involved in? Is this the mayor? Okay, now we're kind of getting somewhere because she did say community activities. So if he is involved in some type of like local official, then I can understand that. Listen, I remember starting out my YouTube channel before I had any help or an editor. I would do 14, 16 hour days working straight and dating at that time was difficult because women wouldn't understand why in the world would you work that hard or that long. Here's another comment from another woman that says those problems he working out is a whole nother family with an exclamation mark across town. 6 a.m. to 1 a.m. is wild. People do work long hours like that, especially if they're very ambitious and are um, entrepreneurs. For most people, they can't, they can't even, they can't even grasp the, the the concept of why somebody would work that hard. Trust me, I know. Somebody else responded. A woman responded back to that chick and said, "If it don't reflect on that check, I'm out." Obviously, she's not complaining about the check, so everything is probably reflecting good. Here's another woman that says, which means she's only getting five hours of his time. Here's another comment that says, "This is the marriage all the old people talk about." when they say people used to take marriage seriously. So of course we have modern women here looking back at these type of marriages and shitting on them and saying, I'm happier now that I'm divorced and ruining families. She goes on to say misery, but hey, at least she stayed. And another person here says, yeah, now women have to work to survive whether they want to or not. Hashtag progress with the clown emoji. This is why you can't feel bad for these chicks who are out here struggling and oh, you know, especially the single mother by choice. And I don't mean the ones that started out by choice. I mean the ones that also divorced their husbands and they're out here like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm going to do. And people in Florida, the women complaining about the new alimony law, the permanent alimony law that's been taken away from them. Don't feel bad for the majority of them. Are there some women who are in disadvantaged situations? They're there. But most of these chicks over here who are like, I'd rather be alone and miserable are struggling and if they're not struggling right now because they're fresh out of the divorce they'll realize um just how difficult they're going to have it guys we see it all the time here on the coffee pot here's another comment from another man that says when you married because it was just normal to do no real love or respect he never once looked her in her eyes and gives the intimacy she wants okay and somebody else here says actually he did he did look her in the eye towards the end of the video. He looked over. One second, guys. Got another comment here from a woman that says they still don't get it. Kudos to her for expressing it. So she's saying they still don't get it today in 2023. But is it really us or is it the fact that you just can't please a woman when it comes to some of this stuff? More on that later. Let's keep let's keep listening. Somebody else dropped in and said, still, you're right. Saying, yep, they still don't get it. She responded back and said, the idiots acting as if I'm only speaking for myself. And somebody else here says, these boys get so mad so fast. And she came back again and says, yes, basically saying these guys are getting so upset. Why don't they get that she needs more time, right? She needs more time. Well, because chances are 
He's probably given her an amazing life and she chose to be with the highly ambitious man. But she still found a way to complain and figure that it's not enough. Somebody else added on to this thread here of women who are high-fiving each other saying they still don't get it, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And said, oh, F off. Y'all live through other women's problems, shaking my effing head. So obviously you guys can see there's a war here in the comments. Here's another woman that says, I actually feel like this was great communication. Unfortunately, better than most communicate today. She said exactly how she felt, and I love that. I want you guys to think about this. This chick is complaining and saying, wow, at least they were communicating. In a day and age where your wife can actually text you while you're at your job, she can actually FaceTime you. Imagine this, this woman, when she says, um, we don't communicate and I don't see you and, and you, there's this gap of time, 16 plus hours. You think back to the time that they were in, there was no cell phones to FaceTime, text, call. There were no cell phones in 1964. In fact, they wouldn't be invented until a decade later. And you have women today complaining that they probably still don't get enough time with their husband, yet they can call, check up on him, and they have more access to them. Can you please women when it comes to spending quality time? Can you really please a woman when it comes to that? More on that later. Another woman here responded back to that comment says, I'm probably not going to do that. She was so lovely. All right, taking her side obviously here. Another man says, listening to it, I said to myself, wow, actual communication. And another woman here chimed in and says, no, that's not a communication. That's male dominance. So she's found a way to make this all about the patriarchy and male dominance. He was dominating the conversation. We've got another comment here from another woman that says, what an interesting accent. Makes me wonder how many accents are not just regional, but time-based. Somebody else here says, the way people walked back then was way different. Watch shows and even interviews from the 60s, and they all talked like that. That's a pretty good point. Interesting fact. Here's another comment from another woman that says, I wish my husband would stop telling me all his problems and start figuring them out on his own. You can't win. You can't win. And I'm going to prove to you guys by the time you're done with this video is that this is an area when it comes to spending quality time with your woman that you just have to come to an agreement with your chick for let's be lucky. Okay, let me speak practically about this. Yes, you do have to spend time with your woman. Maybe you agree on going out on a date like once a week or something like that, or once every two weeks, whatever it may be, something that's practical that you can actually commit to. That's the best you're going to have for these women. But no woman who truly is attracted to her man and loves that man is ever going to say, I think we spend enough time together. Drink the coffee. Drink the coffee. It's not going to happen. It's not the way women operate. They're either fed up or it's not enough. When it comes to quality time, you guys know this. You'll spend your, your whole week or weekend with your chick. And after you're done, it's time for you to go. She's like, oh man, you're leaving. You're like, what? <laughs> we just did all these things. We just spent time together. Okay. I just wish we spent more time together. And if women were honest, they would admit that that is. Stop trying to make these women happy when it comes to spending time with them, yes, you should spend time with your woman, but commit to your agreement of a practical plan rather than meeting her expectations because that's how you just go crazy. It'll never be enough. No woman again has ever said, you know what, I think, I think, I'm, I think we've spent enough time together, right? It just doesn't happen, guys. Oh, and then, and then the, the women who say, communicate with me, share with me your problems, financial problems at work, open up more. They don't want to hear that shit. You come to her with problems and you're a man who takes on the majority of the burden of responsibility financially in the household and you bring those problems all the time, all the time, all the time. You're going to turn your woman off and you're going to end up like this situation where this woman is saying, I actually want my husband to stop doing that. And these other chicks who started responding back and agreeing, don't believe me, check it out for yourself. This woman says mine too with the laughing emoji. Another woman here says same with the laughing emoji. Here's another chick that says you ain't never lie. Exclamation mark with the surprise. With the surprised emoji, here's another woman just left laughing emojis. Another one says, girl, same. Another woman here says, laughing emojis, love it. So these are the guys who thought, well, I'll be more open and honest with my chick. And maybe then she'll, you know, connect with me when really she's just like, man, this guy's always complaining. 
can, can't make them happy. Here's another comment that says, this is so interesting to watch. So much has changed and yet so much has stayed the same. What does she mean by that? Well, obviously it's 2023 and these 304s are still complaining about the same shit. In fact, I have a video to prove it. Check this out. All right, this was released not too long ago. Not too long ago here. All right, better quality. Um, on, recorded on an iPhone, released for social media. Another woman complaining about her life. The only difference is now she doesn't have a camera crew. She's her own camera crew. She's recording herself. And she's here complaining about her hardworking husband. Let's get it. Let's get it. You know what makes me crazy? I'm so excited to have my husband home on the weekends. But then after breakfast, he goes outside, mows, and does lawn work for like hours. And so I'm just still inside doing what I'm always doing, alone, watching these kids. It's like I get that he has to maintain the lawn, and I'm glad he does it, but it still irks me. Like, come inside. Come hang out with us. Change a diaper. You guys get this? All right, so there she is complaining online. Do you guys get this? My husband is out there taking care of the lawn when he could be in here helping me change a diaper. He's gone working all the other days. Come in here with us. And of course, the people responded back to this. Let's check out the first comment that says, mow the effing lawn then. Maybe that'll free up some time for him. You're looking at this and you're thinking to yourself, now, why would he be so hostile in his response? Well, because you think these are little um, pet peeves that women have and they're not that serious, but these are actually reasons women will give to leave a marriage. Oh, he, he, he didn't spend enough time with me. He's working too hard and not spending enough time with me. But he's doing what he can when he's not home, working hard. But the man is working, providing for the family. You can stay at home, unlike most other women out here who are married. And then he has to come and take care of the lawn. And you still find a way to complain. These men are fed up because a lot of these guys have gone through divorces, right? These are guys... Who are experiencing um, the benefits of no-fault divorce, which aren't that great to men. And they're now reacting to seeing other women in the same type of situation who are complaining about a man who's too productive. Are women adults or are they children? And I ask that because he could be complaining. Let's say they reversed roles and she was working while he stayed at home and then she had to come home and do the lawn. Who do you think is most likely to complain? She'll probably be outside recording herself more on the lawn, posting on TikTok, talking about like, ah, I have to work, I have to provide, then I have to come out here and mow the lawn. Modern women have only become more ungrateful. To so the comment that read, hey, go out and help him mow the effing lawn actually turned into a thread. A few people left comments in response to that comment that read. First guy here says, agree with this guy. Somebody else here says, shit, I think I know why he disappears. <laughs> and another man here says, time for beers. And somebody else here says, exactly, changing a diaper takes seconds, which again proves you, to you guys that like women are going to complain. That That is something that they are going to do. And you can't drive yourself insane trying to please your woman in every facet, especially a modern woman who has a deluded understanding of what it takes to have a successful marriage. And so let's check out responses from women. Who responded back to that guy who says go out there and help him of course they took the chick side the first comment to here says it's nothing but an excuse to not help with the kids mowing the lawn is the easy job compared to looking after kids and no one gives that much of an f about the lawn and here we go this is why i'm personally hesitant to encourage men to put themselves in a position where their wife is a stay-at-home mom to men who still value marriage today today is because of this women actually convince themselves that the work it takes to support a family, keep up a lawn, do with the stresses of work is actually um, a lot easier than raising up children. That's not me saying that raising up children isn't difficult or challenging, but I do think that it's more challenging to be in that top percent, that top 10% of earners who can actually afford to take care of a stay-at-home mom. There are plenty of women out here who are taking care of kids, right? Another comment here says, how will he ignore his wife and kids if she does that for him? Another woman here added, I believe she was saying she needed his support, which he isn't getting. It has nothing to do with mowing at all, right? And 
support. Anyways, guys, comment down below. I can't, I can't comment on every single comment. We got a few to read here. And then we have a guy here who chimed in and said, nope, it sounded like complaining that he wasn't on the same page with her on what she expected to happen on the weekends. But right now, it's a big trend on stay-at-home moms to dog your spouse in any way that you can to make it look like the wife is getting the short end of the stick. It is the trend. And don't fall for this out here, guys. These women are not getting the short end of the stick. They're looking for a reason to tap out and be victims. The comic goes on to read, and everyone who wants to agree and complain falls for it. If anything, they should go back to Marriage Basic 101. First lesson, check your expectations. Second lesson, communication with each other and not post your gripes on the internet to validate your lack thereof. Yes. Just the fact that he's out there working and he has a woman getting online, now you're on the coffee pod complaining, he needs to check that. And if you're a guy who's um, about to get into a marriage, first of all, protect yourself, right? Sign that prenup. And secondly, make sure you make her a rule about not getting and crying on social media. That has to be a rule today. Otherwise, who knows what can go viral about your own personal marriage? I mean, it's good for me, but not for the relationships. Here's another comment that says, damned if you do, damned if you don't, this gentleman says. Another guy responded back and says, shortest post, best post. Here's another comment that reads, and you're in the house on your phone looking for attention. Here's another person who added, women are never happy. It's a continuous pendulum of emotional criticism. There's some truth to that, man. Understanding this should help you realize that neither can you make them happy and it's not your responsibility for that chick to be happy. You want her to know what your responsibilities are and it's not her happiness. And if she doesn't understand that, then you should not be entertaining a long-term relationship or especially marriage with her. Another woman responded back to him and says, imagine spending time with your family and doing the only thing she wants. <laughs> yeah, the only thing women want is that. Right, guys? That's the only thing uh, women ask for. Another comment here from another man says, you must have married the wrong woman, he says. I've been married 57 years, a beautiful, understanding woman that has always been satisfied and there for me. This is why I would die for her. And then the guy responded back and says, and she'll get half when she bails. <sighs> That's why I talk about these old, these older guys. Um, it's not all of them. Of course, a lot of guys, by the consequence of bad marriages and divorce, end up drinking coffee and um, understanding the truth. But a lot of these guys who survived don't realize that a lot of that had to do with that woman. And they think all other women are like their woman. Why? Because in a gynocentric, female best based society how men have always been taught to view women they're always the innocent pure um one in the in the conversation there's this tendency to want to protect the woman at all costs so when they see guys here actually treating modern day women like they are which is a headache most of them in the context of relationships they automatically want to have the sense to like support these chicks another man here says what's stopping you from going outside with your kids and helping him Somebody else here responded and says, a good father would never allow his tiny kids to be in the vicinity of a running lawnmower. He responded back and said, laughing emojis, nobody said strap them onto it. Outside is a big place. Final comment here in this thread says, this is what my wife does. We fix up the yard as a family quite often. This lady sounds like an egotistical narcissist. It's all about her. Another comment here from another man says, you're at home all week, cut the effing grass and he won't have to. Another gentleman here responded back and said, best answer. A few more comments here. Another comment here says, switch places. You mow the lawn and he can make TikToks. <laughs> Another person says, dang, with the laughing dead emojis. Another gentleman here says, bring him lemonade. Have the kids play outside. Sweep as he mows to help him uh, finish faster. Stop wasting your time and ignoring your kids while complaining on social media, please. Yes. We've got another gentleman here who says, my wife sat me down and had this conversation with me. I honestly did not get it until I started working from home. Now I get it. Oh boy, do I get it. He says, also, many of these comments are super um, horrible and unkind. Sheesh. And the question is unkind to who? Because you could say that they're unkind to the man who's out there, who hasn't shared his side of the story. But if it was just people dogging him out, no one would say that they're being unkind. It's the fact that a woman is being opposed for complaining online 
um, about her man. That's all that it is. People don't want to see women called out, which is why a lot of this stuff is so polarizing even on my show. People, it makes people uncomfortable. But yes, there are women out here who complain when they really shouldn't be complaining. Another comment here says, this is the best comment I've read. This chick, right? This woman agreeing, obviously, 100 emoji. A guy who gets it, she says. And another man responded back to that dude and says, simp. And another chick comes to his rescue, correcting the guy who got called a simp and says, you misspelled present father with the life partner he cares about. And then another dude said, nah, he spelled it right. Here's another comment from another man that says, typical woman, they just can't be happy, get a hobby. And somebody else here left a comment that says, never an American woman, fellas. And so the question here is, what can you learn from this? I can't stress how much men need to understand that you just can't make women happy. You can't make that your goal. That doesn't mean that you can't try to please your woman practically but unfortunately when it comes to things like spending time with you certain scenarios within a relationship no woman will ever say i think again i think this is enough i think we spend enough time together they'll always want more and that's just how women are built that doesn't mean that you can't set aside dates and you shouldn't um figure out practical ways to do that but i just want to warn men out here as long as you're committing and being constant with those commitments of a date once a week or whatever you may agree works with your partner, then don't beat yourself up and drive yourself crazy with not being able to please a woman. Because trust and believe a lot of women out here, even if you um, do the once a week date type situation or once every two weeks go out on a date, whatever, or once every two weeks go out on a date, she will find something else to complain about. She will find something else to complain about. Now, if you have the joy of having the type of woman who complains less then she shows gratitude and she actually shows you more gratitude for what you do around the house thanks you understand the type of type of um, effort it takes from for you to be the type of man who provides then you've got yourself a good woman and if you need to have that conversation with her then have that conversation but as always guys i'm curious to know what do you think Leave your comments down below i appreciate y'all for checking out yet another episode of the coffee pot till next time i'm out peace